Yo, it's your boy Jizo back with another video and today, oh let me move the camera, Ooh, boom, and today, and today, and today, one more time for you haters out there man, and today, alright so, what we're going to talk about today is, and I know this uh, is like a crazy topic, because um, a lot of people are spotted with these. Um, a lot of people are spotted, even the celebrities. Um, let's talk about it. Fake watches. Why are so many people wearing fake watches? And, and and then let's talk about the difference between clones, replicas, aftermarkets, um, just plain fake watches, and homage watches. So first off, let's talk about how, um, not how, but why is it a lot of people out there wearing the fake watches? Um, and the simple the simple answer is basically everybody has fake watches if they bust them down so if you bust down a watch um nine times out of ten you have to change the what you have to change the dial the bezel you have to change all that so now you're taking a watch casing off and putting your own case on there so that makes it a fake watch, guys. Um, just just off bat. So most watch enthusiasts is going to say that you have a fake watch. Um, which truly, in fact, you do because the manufacturer uh, did not make that. You get what I'm saying? They didn't make that. So now you have brought a fake watch. You're paying for the, the time and effort it cre to create that watch, right? That's what you did. So when you bust down a watch and change the, the faces, um, I, I'll bring you an example. Um, when you bust down a watch, you change the face. If the face doesn't supposed to look like this, um, even though it functions the same way, if the face doesn't supposed to look like this, you know, the dial, the, this is not how they come. It is modified, um, it is changed, and it is custom, so now you have a fake watch. Um, well, let me take that back. Can it be faked or is it aftermarket? You get what I'm saying? So they call it aftermarket, but majority of watch enthusiasts call them fake. Uh, and That's just what it is, man. Even though it looks nice to you, it's fake to other people. But again, guys, you wear what you want to wear. Um, yes, you wear what you want to wear. Okay, now, so we got that out of the way. So we got busting down the watch, right? So we bust down the watch. Now it becomes fake. Um, anything that you put extra on a watch becomes fake. So let me, it's aftermarket. So it's considered uh, uh, mess with. And the, the watch manufacturer, like this Rolex right here, right? So this band is $14 off of Amazon, okay? I changed that, $14 off of Amazon. Uh, the, this thing might have came from somewhere else. You get me? Might have came from somewhere else. Um, this totally, so if this was, so the Rolex, the Rolex right here, um, if this were the Rolex, this would be modified. So this would be considered aftermarket, right? This is aftermarket and Rolex will not touch it because it, it has modifications on it. You get what I'm saying? Rolex will not touch it. This just so happens to be also the next topic, fake. You get me? It's fake. This has a uh, actual battery in it. Like, this thing is actually put together, like, from different watch parts. Um, it had a real, it had a real, uh, had a real case on it. I mean, not case, a real band, real Rolex band on it. Um, it had a real Rolex band on it. But all the other parts are put together. Like, this watch is actually put together. 
Um, this thing, I can't, I guess this is the dial too. I don't know. But this thing right here is good to go. That might be official. That's official. Um, the casing is not official. It came from some other watch. Um, the parts in the inside came from another watch. But you take that, you take the dial, the inside, the black part, and you put it in there, now you got a real Rolex. <laughs> but it's basically not a real Rolex. Uh, this, again, has a battery in it. So, this is a fake watch. So, if it's fake, it's fake. Don't, don't try to uh, sugarcoat it. Fake is fake, man. Fake is fake. Let me fix this light real quick. Hold on, guys. Uh... Ooh. Trying to figure out what's going on. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, that's better. That's better right there. My bad, guys. My bad, guys. So, boom. So, this is actually fake, guys. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is definitely fake. We can call it a replica, but it's actually put together. whole bunch of different parts. This is like a Frankenstein watch. So, we're just going to call it fake. Um, now, we're going to move on to what people call fake as well, but it's not really fake. We have homages. Watches that look like different watches or similar to a watch or you get the point you know what i mean you get the point this is supposed to be this this is supposed to be that now you get the point you know what i mean so this right here a lot of people think this is a jacob and co uh watch but it doesn't move like jacob and co watches so it moves it goes round and round but it's not the uh complex movement that Jacob and Co offers but what this is is for people who can afford it and it's not a replica guys this is a pen do watch we call this homages this is a homage watch right this thing is a homage it looks just like it it has leather on it is the build quality is nice on it like it moves around. It is an astronomical, an astronomical, or whatever it's called, astronomical, or something like that. It's the same. It's the same name. Um, but this is made by Pindu. This is an actual company called Pindu. I don't know if you can see it. It might be too dark. Um, but this is Pindu, guys. Pindu. If you can see it, I'm looking at the camera to see if you guys can see it, but. Maybe you can't see it. Um, this is definitely Pindu. You know, the whole time I just noticed I didn't have my chain out. But here you go. There's the chain. Um, but yeah, guys. This is a homage watch. This is not um, This is not a replica. This is a homage watch. So when I put this watch on. When I put this watch on. It, it's okay. Like, people won't know. Plus, I like it because I can put it on either wrist. Um, I mean, the other watches I can put it on either wrist too, but you know how that go. Um, I like blue. I like these blue leather bands. I just got me a watch with a, a blue leather band as well, and I'll show you guys in a later video what that watch was. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks on the wrist. This is a homage. This is not. A fake watch this is not a replica this is not a Frankenstein um this is his own watch and uh, a lot of watch enthusiasts is probably gonna be like okay that's a nice watch because it has the actual name on it, it doesn't say Jacob & Co okay guys it does not say Jacob & Co so and did I buy it because people would think it was Jacob & Co well and it's different. You, you see what I'm saying? This thing on the Jacob & Co. is not that big in the center. So it's a different watch, actually. 
it's actually a different watch again the movement is not the same so it's definitely a different watch um again guys iced out watch is a fake watch as well but it's only fake because you change the casing you change the bezel um you change the dial it's not the same it's not factory so that's when it becomes fake guys um this right here is fake because it is a watch that's put together different parts are in this watch to make this watch i love this watch though i'm not gonna lie to you guys i love the watch um sheesh i love it like and then if you do have a rolex if you do have a rolex you can get you and you want to get the rubber band and you don't want to pay a hundred two hundred dollars three hundred dollars for a piece of rubber you can get this off of amazon for fourteen dollars like fourteen dollars any color fourteen dollars fits the watch exact like this is nice on the wrist um will people know that this is fake no they won't know that this is fake because it has some real rolex parts like that's all it has real rolex parts um does it tick maybe i need a battery so <laughs> i need a battery but no it probably does tick but um no yeah it ticks i'm not gonna lie it has a battery in it so of course it's gonna tick um but nobody's gonna know guys nobody's gonna know again this is a watch that's put together is made from different pieces it has a few rolex parts that's real um other than that it's fake and this again guys is a homage watch homage watch pen do um that's what we call homages homages are basically watches that look like other watches um but have their own company name on it you know what i mean so if, if you think about it, Rolex, Timex, uh, Seiko, uh, who else? Omega, they all make the same watch. They all make the same exact watch, right? Um, but they all have a different name on it. So that's basically what this is. It's just a different watch. It just looks like a Jacob & Co. This is called a Pendu. Free game for you guys. Free game. And this is not the only kind of watch they offer. They offer different versions of the Jacob & Co. looking watch. And they also offer different other kinds of watches. I think they got one like uh, the Protect, one like Rolex, one like all the brands. You know what I mean? So uh, even the Richard Mille ones. Um, I have a few more watches, but I don't really want to get into this. This video is just about what is a fake watch. Like, why do all the celebrities wear fake watches? And the point is, all the celebrities wear fake watches. Not all of them. Not, I can't say all of them, but most. Majority wear fake watches because they want them iced out. Um, especially the rappers. The rappers, they want them iced out. Uh, some of them do come factory iced out, but... If you want a certain type of look, you have to do it yourself. It's that simple, guys. It's really that simple. And that's about it, for real. It's just that simple. So that's why those watches are fake. Yes, I have real watches. Um, and I'll just show you. Like, this was an early birthday present to myself. Um, you know we have we have real watches here guys you know some watches don't cost as much money like this frank mueller man this frank mueller doesn't cost that much money man frank mueller janine man geneve doesn't cost that much money you know what i mean you might five eight yeah you know i mean five eight thousand man you're good to go no no games man you're good to go so we we i just, i think it's just more of what you're comfortable wearing um majority of the time if you didn't buy it from the people uh like a a rep uh uh, uh i can't think of what it's called an authorized dealer then you got a fake watch like if something needed to be fixed and something got broke and they fixed it you have an aftermarket part now it becomes a fake watch you get what i'm saying so it's just a great area 
It's a gray area. It's all to it, man. It's a gray area. But I, I don't educate you guys, man. I don't educate you guys. But since you made it to the end, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And also, don't forget, guys, um, to comment your thoughts on this video. Also, guys, don't forget, if you need promo, you just DM me, message me, email me. Um, you can DM me on Instagram. You can uh, email me at thatguyjizo at gmail.com. You can also, uh, I said buy promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy promo. You also can buy a feature from me. Guys, um, you also, if you're trying to get your YouTube up, you can definitely, you should. You should. If you're trying to get your YouTube up, no, I'm not the biggest YouTuber. I'm still working my way up. But if I have more of a following than you, I will be willing to help you out by promoting you. We can go live together. You can uh, send me a video and I'll post it on my page. I'm, I got reasonable prices, guys. Um, also, don't forget to get your vendors list. If you want to know where to get most of this stuff from, get your vendors list at thatguyjizo.com. That's thatguyjizo.com. Um, I don't know what else, man. That's about it, man. That's about it. And, guys, I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, all this positive support. I appreciate you. And, oh, before I forget, if you want to hate, you hate. But send a uh, super thanks before you comment your hateful stuff, man. Send a super thanks before you comment your hateful stuff. If you send a super thanks and you're hating, if you say something hateful and you send a super thanks, I pin your comment. Hey, man. <laughs> I pin your comment to the wall, man. Or to the uh, top of the comment section. Since you commented, if you're going to keep commenting, you comment. Because some of y'all commented about a thousand times on my page. like. But I appreciate you because you keep me in the algorithm. And I appreciate that, guys. But I'm out today. Peace.